five steps to be self-employed as a consultant. Hey, this is Harry and welcome to this episode of the Harry Show. And today I'm going to talk about how you can be self-employed as a consultant. Now the consulting industry is offering a great career for people who have something to offer in the marketplace. And by the end of this video, you would have a clear understanding on what you need to do to build a career as a consultant, whether that is a full-time career or a part-time career, something that you want to do on the side with a full-time job. And if you stay till the end, I'm going to give you a special gift that is going to help you kickstart your consulting career and eventually build a profitable consulting practice. So stick around till the end. And let's dive into the content. So five steps to be self-employed as a consultant. What is the first step? And the first step is not actually a step, but it's a foundational need that you have if you want to build a consulting business. It is to get a job. You know, being desperate while you're starting a new business is not the best place to be in. I have trained thousands of people, thousands of my students who are doing really well in consulting. And one of the common threads that I've seen in people who are very effective right out of the bat is they have a job because they're not desperate then. They are comfortable in their lifestyle and they're trying to do something on the side first and gradually scale it up to a full-time business. The second step in your intention to be self-employed as a consultant is identify your consulting skill. So I'm going to just say consulting skill. What is it that you're going to offer in the marketplace in exchange of money? So what are some examples of consulting skills? Digital marketing is a consulting skill. Training is a consulting skill. Speaking is a consulting skill. Website development is a consulting skill. Accounting is a consulting skill skill life coaching is a consulting skill if you want to get into executive coaching right so there are hundreds of consulting skills what you have to do is you have to identify what you have developed and mastered over time that you're going to offer to the marketplace the third step is identify your target market who is it that you're going to offer your consulting skill to? Now, if you are, for example, if you're a digital marketer, you can potentially help any business on the planet, right? But that is not how you want to position yourself. You want to position yourself as somebody who's a specialist for a specific industry. For example, you might be a Facebook ads expert for gym owners. So what that does is it positions you, it differentiates you from every other Facebook ad expert, right? Think about it. If you're a gym owner, who do you wanna hire as a Facebook ad expert? You wanna hire the guy who can run Facebook ads for any business? Or do you wanna hire a guy who, are, who runs Facebook ads only for gym owners? Think about it. Most people want to hire specialists, right? So that is what identifying your target market means. Who is it that can benefit the most from your services? Who is it that has the potential to pay the amount of money that you desire to make? Who is it that is approachable? Who is it that is reachable in the marketplace? Who is it that you can potentially add value to right so that is what identifying your target market means number four is get 
prospects on the phone. You gotta find a way to get prospects on the phone with you. Why did I say on the phone? Because meeting prospects in person, yes, it might be necessary for some consulting offerings if you have a high ticket offer, especially if you are offering $50,000 or more in, uh, in, in your offer. So if, if, you are, if the minimum price tag is $50,000 or more, then you might have to meet in person. But most of the offers below that can be closed on the phone. Why is that effective? Because it's sufficient. You can meet 10 people on the phone in a day, but if you're meeting them in person, it's difficult to meet more than three or four people. So it keeps you effective, it keeps you efficient, right? Get prospects on the phone. You gotta understand how you're gonna reach your target market so that you can eventually set up meetings with them to discuss your offering. And finally, the fifth step is close on the phone. You gotta understand and you build the skill set of selling on the phone. And selling is not, uh, not something that we are born learned. This is something that everybody has had to learn after they started in business, right? So this is something that you can learn as well. But the more important first step is to get things rolling. Identify your consulting skill, identify your target market, start reaching out to them, see how they respond, see what they're looking for, see what their pain points are, right? So that you can structure your offering, structure your business accordingly. So these are the five steps of to be self-employed as a consultant. And as I promised, as a gift for you to, for watching this video, I'm gonna give you a free copy of my book. There would be a link somewhere around this video or in the description. Click on that link and you can download my book, Legendary Consulting, how to consult like the top 1% for free. This was Harry signing off. I'll see you later. What did you learn from this video? Comment below and let me know. I read every single comment on my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. We already have a lot of videos on our channel. Check the playlist on marketing, sales, communication, leadership, influence, persuasion, all of these skills that'll help you transform the game and raise your career to the next level.